Adobe Illustrator has just received its new 2020 update. So that little icon at the bottom of your screen for Adobe Illustrator, Photoshop, and a lot of the other Adobe apps may be different, but that's not the only thing that's different. Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Will Patterson and welcome back to a new video. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you the differences and the updates inside of Adobe today, which is exciting for anyone who uses this app on a regular basis for logo design or illustration. Before we get into it, I just wanna thank the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. If you're a designer or someone who creates content online, such as myself, then you need a website. Every person I think deserves and needs a website to promote themselves, promote their work, even if it's creative or not, and even just to sell resources. I sell online resources and design resources on my website. So they're all Procreate, brush packs, and everything else. Honestly, it's a really good way of making that extra bit of income. Squarespace has thousands of templates that are fully customizable for you to use, so you don't have to be a web design wizard to create a beautiful, website that really works. If you'd like to get 10% of your first order on Squarespace today, click the link down below or type in the coupon code into Squarespace. Okay, let's get into the first update. The Adobe Illustrator icon has changed, but not only that, the Photoshop, the Audition, and a lot of other ones have changed now for you. And a lot of people may be a bit confused, before the app icons would be squared to signify that this app was also on a other device like the iPad, it was on a mobile device. But it looks now that Adobe have changed the way that all the icons work, which is really interesting to see how bold these Adobe Illustrator icon and how bold the Photoshop icon is now. It looks a lot cleaner and you can tell that they're definitely going into the mobile space with all of these apps. The first and probably the best update is Cloud Documents. You may already think we have Cloud Documents, but we don't. This Cloud Documents is all about being able to access your documents anywhere on any machine with Illustrator installed. So for instance, if you're working at home on your personal desktop computer with Adobe Illustrator and you go to someone else's, you can sign in and actually get your Cloud Documents. It makes it a ton easier to actually collect all the documents that you need and to pick them out in different computers. So for instance, working from home and going to work. You can access the cloud documents right from the home screen or from the Creative Cloud website. And the coolest thing is your documents are actually auto-saved onto the cloud, which is probably the nicest feature you could have. Makes it a lot safer to do work and if something breaks or if your file gets corrupted, a lot easier to maintain your saved versions of that file. You can easily track your version histories as well. So if one of your files goes a bit ski whiff or if you don't like where your design has gone or something like that, you can actually track through the cloud documents, one of the files that you had before. So it means that you have an extra layer of protection in case one of your files gets corrupted. The next feature is 100 times canvas. Some of you might be a bit confused, but for anyone who works on billboards or designs on next to trucks or on trucks, then this is for you. Illustrator now lets you have huge canvas sizes, which means that you're able to actually design pinpoint accuracy for huge designs. It provides you with 100 times more space than you would normally have in Illustrator. And basically it just gives you the ability to design to scale, which is something that designers really needed to have. Beforehand, it was a lot more difficult to match the scale of what you're working on because of the restraints that it had. But now you can match it to scale. So you can design everything that you want, exactly how you want it and where you want it to scale. And the last feature for Adobe is basically called start now, finish later. Your documents are four times faster on loading when you're loading in a new document and are four times faster on saving when saving to the cloud. So that's just like a really nice improvement to have. If you had a document that was really, really large and it was hard to open, now it'll be four times faster and four times faster to save. Now Photoshop has actually received some updates as well and there are a few of them. The first one being better selection of portraits. If you're someone who does portrait photography or you just want to select the background or the actual person in the portrait, Photoshop have made it easier now and a lot more precise to actually select the person or the background in the photography. And it's only with one click as well, so you don't have to spend a lot of time with a pen tool properly masking it out. This is a really neat feature to have. The next one is auto activate Adobe fonts. So when you used to open up Adobe Photoshop files and they had different fonts in it that were from Adobe, you would normally have to go and install them from Adobe fonts. Well, now it automatically does it for you, which makes 
makes your workspace a lot cleaner and it also means your workflows a lot quicker. Anything that enhances the speed of design and takes unnecessary steps away from actually editing a design on a separate computer is a really good update in my book. And also if you're a fan of the match font in Adobe Photoshop, which is what I am whenever I look at a font outside, I take a picture and then I'll put it into Photoshop to see if it'll match the font or find it for me. Well, they've actually improved this as well. So it's more accurate and it gives you more fonts to look through as well when you select it. And the last feature in Adobe Photoshop is rotatable patterns. Beforehand, you cannot rotate the patterns inside of Photoshop, but now it gives you full rotational ability. So you can have the patterns rotated to any rotation that you want. It's surprising how much I said rotation. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope some of these updates were new to you and that you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please press that red subscribe button. And thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. If you'd like to try Squarespace out for yourself, click the link down below in the description. See you next week. Goodbye.